Yeah, thanks for showing up on Veterans Day. Can you swing around? All right, swing around. I'll leave you. See what those guys got going over in the uh, admin tent. That's more of a horseshoe. Sparkle hut. I'm not a horsey kind of girl. Solar panel. Uh, there's a battery box. Got the cornhole going right here. Wait, we scored. We scored. Oh. Yeah, give that back. <laughs> What's happening? You are, my man. You are. Hey, bro. So this is Dan. When uh, we were setting this up, Liz and Dan are the ones that set up all the spreadsheets to help organize how we were gonna bring people in. One of the things that makes an event like this so different from other events is we have to have kind of a pop-up construction site out in the middle of the desert with just as much planning as we can ahead of time so that we organize the talent of everybody. As much pre-planning as we can do to be organized to hit the ground running as best as we can when we start is what makes this a success and Dan and Liz are the ones, and, and Wendy too, Wendy was here last year, uh, are the ones that take care of that. Dan set us up on Alpha 5, and so what, what we would like to do is just ask Dan, tell us a little bit about the process of when somebody registers on the website to be a part of this, and say they want work done, say they want to volunteer also, or maybe just be a spectator, they fill out the registration form on the website, what happens after that to the point that they have maybe a work order in hand and it gets sent over to the right crew? How does all that work? <laughs> well, we take that list that they filled out on the form and we import it into this database system. We just import that, that work order and we have it broken down by fan install, solar, solar consult, sewing, carpentry, welding, and if they need a composting toilet. So we can click on any one of these buttons and it sorts it. So this is a list of all the people right here, this whole column that needs, uh, what did I press? Uh, the, so these are all solar consultations. Yeah. And the list really goes on because it scrolls all the way down. So we can filter on all these, you know, like composting toilets. We only have three of those. But then we can also go here and we can run counts. And right now everything's in progress, but as the job gets completed, completed will be here and I can highlight that and I can just highlight one of these and press this button, it'll tell me the grand total. And this is more than one page. So I'll go to the end here. And this tells me that we have uh, 30 in progress and we have 80 that are wanting to be done on solar installations alone so far. Okay. So we're looking at 110 solar jobs right now, but we know more are going to come in. Well, I have. We I mean, still have pages. Day two. Okay, now these are just the ones that we got off this. This is half. Website. This yeah. is half of yesterday. We're having people that we aren't on the website fill out yeah. work orders, so that we can type them into the system. And we've gone through we've gone through a stack already this much. Yeah. We've got these already entered, and she's typing more. 
have so this this is growing so are you gonna at some point based on our resources have a cutoff where we say well right now we if we're gonna be doing this for 14 days or, or 12 days because consider we're having Thanksgiving and then we have a cleanup and we can't figure those days in do you have a cutoff point in mind for those solar jobs not, not really <laughs> and then I said I think we're up to uh, 500 25 entries for jobs. Some of those are two jobs, first first request and second request. Right. Uh, yeah, it really is. And we try to do our best to do at least one job. Right. So if we can't Time get to the second one. Second. Right. Right. So um, so we're just really trying to get all the data in and then we can get things set up. So if I came in here to visit the van build and I wanted to have a solar installation done and I registered online, I come in you look me up on the thing, give me my wristband, and give me a, I leave with a work order build request sheet. Yep. And then how do the solar teams know about me? If I, if solar team five is gonna do my job, how do they know about me? He gives them the reports. In other words, he, he makes out. Dan gives them? The I will the show you a report. Of, of who's on their team and who needs what. That's what he's doing how does he give them to them? I print them out at night, every night. And walks them over to the uh, the, team the team leader? Yeah, no, Steve Punk's team's good. He comes and meets me first thing in the morning. <laughs> but like here. Solar Team 1. This is Solar Team 1, who the captain is, the only buddy that's on the team, and these are all the jobs that have so far been assigned to Solar Team 1. And then I can look over here on Solar Team 2 and do the same thing. Solar Team 3. Six. So we've been assigning jobs to these solar teams, and these are all them. So this prints out in a report just like this, and I give it to the uh, team leaders. So the team leaders have a list of all the jobs that they need to do or that they have on their list to do. Yeah, now, what I did was I gave the whole list, all six solar team lists, to Tom so Tom could distribute them because he said he would. He yeah. says he's supposed to be over the whole solar project. Right. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks,